Alright everyone, welcome back. It is episode 3 of Let's Play The Lone Survivor. Um, I'm trying to remember where we left off. I think we had just gotten the gun from that awkward party that may or may not actually have taken place. Um, and we still have some more rooms to explore, so we're going to continue on with that. Let's go. Alright, I think C brought up our gun. Yep, so C does that. Uh, let's see, we haven't checked out the fire escape. Of course it's locked. Alright. Use the mirror, get back to where we were. He's hungry again. Don't think we have any food though. We'll eat this beef jerky. Oops. I believe there's a room back in 204 that I missed, but and we also have the gun now, so we can check those out too. So I think we're gonna go back there first before we continue on. Duh, I have a gun. Yeah, we'll sneak around and save the bullets anyway. Just a nice jam. Let's, let's take this guy out. Okay, not too good at the fighting yet. I don't see any visible health bar system or anything, so it'll probably be just rely on uh, his uh, whatever he says. Kind of like, oh, he says I'm hungry and tired. Uh, if we get too damaged, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see how that works. Oh, turn the flashlight on. Something religious, maybe. I find it calming anyway. says no other solution. I wonder who wrote it and why Why more to the point. I think it may be out of gas just like the one in our apartment. Some nasty looking scissors. These could chop someone's head off. I hmm, wonder if we can use it for that. Battered couch. Okay looks like it's all in here. Okay, so we unlock that. I if we can shoot him from here. There's something on it. Got a can opener, finally can open some can. Delicious ham. Dreamed about this for <laughs> dreamed about ham for months. Pick up rice pudding. Got a a tin of rice pudding. Alright. Flashlight's almost out. scissors. Pretty big and sharp. Cool. Need to find something to cut. So apparently we'll have to use those eventually. Okay, so I think that was the only room I forgot to explore there, so...
Get away from me. Okay, so that boat's back here. Okay, that's not where I want to go at all. Whoops. Well, that didn't work too well. Ah, <laughs> oh, bummer. Let's see if it restarts this. Hopefully we don't have to do that all over again. I feel like I've been asleep a while. So, let's see if we have the scissors. Nope, okay, so we're gonna have to do that all over again, all right. A little bit of that time. Just read these just in case. I don't know. Some games where you have to read the things or don't doesn't trigger certain events, so I don't know if that happens in this game or not, but get those scissors scissors and then go back to the other room and get the can of food and all that. So it looks like I can probably sneak around this guy completely. Let's try using the meat. Just say bullets. Oh, that doesn't really work. I can't get out. Oh, that's pointless. And now he's in my way. Okay, well, I'm not really sure what to do here, because I thought I could sneak around the back of the... Ah, oh, there you go, he's moving now. Take that, zombie thing. rice and the delicious ham that he's been dreaming about for months. Alright, we're going to sneak back this way and continue to explore the other side of the apartment complex. This guy get out of our way, and then we can run for it. Okay, so we explored that room fully. Oh, except I think there was a hole in there. Let's go back and see where that was. Not in here. Alright, here we go. We moved this last time. Let's see. Might be able to squeeze through. Now in apartment 202. Okay, so that went right into the adjacent apartment. Just 
takes three shots to kill each one of those guys. Let's see how much ammo we have left. Three rounds in the gun. Um, that looks like it might be about it. Yeah, okay, so we have three rounds, so we have enough to kill one more. So we might have to try to avoid everyone from now on. More holes. Where's this one gonna take me? Alright, so it took us to the next room. What the hell is this thing? Looks like it's covering another hole. I guess I need something to get through it. You know what? Let's see if the scissors will cut it through it. Oh man. Do I really have to go through to this? Here it goes. Oh, oh no, I feel a bit unwell. Alright. So I guess we can can't go much longer. Got some beans. Nothing special about it. Uh, he says he can't go much further, but let's, let's let's push on. Let's see what's in this hole. That was weird. For some reason, he would not face the guy, but now I'm out of ammo. It's like my brain's about to explode. Oh my god, please help me. Help, help me. I can't go. I think I broke his brain. <laughs> So, I suppose I meant to speak to you. Seated figure. We are, we are sat next to each other. <laughs> but you don't feel like talking now. That's true. A man needs to have protection. You know that. <laughs> if you need to see me again, take the blue pill. <laughs> this is a <laughs> matrix? Okay. seem to have something extra in my backpack. Looks like it might be some ammo. What the hell? Okay, so apparently we ran out of ammo. We passed out or something, talked to some strange dude on a chair, and it looks like he may have given us ammo, which means, makes absolutely no sense. So, um, I think we will end the first video, or the third episode here, and, uh, continue on with this strange adventure next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.